So today I'm here with her tour from um, 14 Islands, an agency. We really like the, 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 way, the way they work, your, your, uh, the results, the, the website that you built are really nice. And basically here, you know, uh, at Prismic Studios, what we like to do is, you know, interview people that have like good processes, good practices of, for producing websites, uh, you know, together with our uh, products so that we share that with our users so that they kind of learn from you and they get also their uh, process better, they get their quality better. Because mm -hmm. we think like these kind of things uh, don't come by, by, by accident. You know, there are a lot of things that you need to take care of to improve the quality of your uh, uh, production. So first, how was the plane? Was it good? Did, yeah, you was, any, any, it, did you get any, any, any trouble? Today, today in Paris is a strike. So. Yeah, exactly. I was a bit worried yesterday because I was reading the news. And I saw there was a public strike yeah. today in all the public transport in, in, yeah. in Paris. Um, yeah, so I was a bit scared yesterday before I went to bed. And there were actually some stories about like the airport b being like, it's going to be like a chaos. Yeah, I, I, I was scared of that as well. I was <laughs> like, maybe, maybe that, because often strikes start somewhere and then chaos spreads everywhere. Yeah, but it was not the case. I just like I just, uh, strolled through the airport and straight to the taxi and... Cool. Um, well, that's, that's cool. Well, yeah. thank you. Th thank you for coming. That's the uh, most important thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and thank you for willing to share all of that with with us and our our uh, um, our people, our users. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, can you give us an introduction to what uh, Fourteen Islands do, and you know, and then about your role in there? Yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, we are around eight years old. Uh, we are a creative de design and development studio in Stockholm. So what we do is we do websites, uh, we do branding, we do product work, and we love to create like really good experiences. That's kind of what we are all about. And yeah, we have a very good team to, to do that. And what do you do there? Yeah, so my role is, um, so I've actually been a developer for over 20 years. So that's kind of my, my background. Uh, but right now I'm in this transition where I'm uh, like taking over, like kind of running the studio. So I'm uh, like more of a, like a facilitator of our designers and developers and making sure that everything is going well. It's hard like to move from a role where you're producing things to a role where you kind of, you're more, um, you know, as you say, facilitating things. Was it hard to make that change? <sighs> Yes and no. So I had a, a bit of experience running teams before and I always enjoy like I'm very even though I'm a developer, I'm very like passionate about design also, uh, which is also true for my partners, actually. Mm -hmm. So so uh, our studio was kind of started by developers. Uh, but now lately we've been getting more and more into design designs and um, so you enjoy that part as well? Yeah, we do enjoy that part a lot, actually. It's it's a lot of fun to do both, kind of. And I think magic kind of happens when designers and developers work very like closely together. That's, that's, that seems to be one of the most important things if you want to improve the quality of your work is to have people talk to each other, you know, developers and designers, and not to be like, hey, this is design, go work on it. It's more like a collaborative work, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, at the start, when we were only doing the development, um, I mean, we were, since we were all kind of, we like design, we you know we think about design and we want to build like a good ex experience. Um, so at the start, our main clients actually were designers because they knew that we would actually deliver what they designed. Because okay. what's so often the case for designers, they, they like design something amazing, but then they pass it, you know, throw it over the wall to the developers, and it doesn't always turn out as well as they they imagined it. They to imagined be it. Yeah. So uh, I think so it's really important to kind of you know work closely together. So that was your uh, strong point: is that you could take these designs and make them look like what they they imagined, the, the, the experience. You can deliver the experience in development. Right? Yeah, exactly. At the start, that was kind of it. So maybe, maybe mm. so the thing I would I would mm. like to do in these videos, mm. we'll try to break, the, break them into smaller videos so that, yeah. you know, people can choose to kind of watch one of them, whatever the topic is relevant for, for, for them. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll break them into short videos. But I want to start with, you know, when you have a client that comes mm. in, okay? and they want something they have like i don't know something they want you to do for them mm -hmm. okay how do you think about the design 
you're talking about the design, right? Mm -hmm. How do you think about it? Like, for, for instance, for a website, mm -hmm. okay? Do you say like, okay, website sections, uh, let's do this section and then that section, or do you think about, okay, okay, now who is the visitor? Who, who is doing, the, what, what do we want them to achieve? How, how do you think about your strategy of, you know, mm -hmm. the, the design and, 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 you know, producing that website that the client is asking you to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so there is a pr process. And uh, I mean, the designs don't come out of like thin air. Uh, it all starts with the st strategy. So we usually have like a strategy phase at the start of a project. And the way we work is usually we spend quite some time with the client at the start of the project. So we get to know them really well. We get to understand their kind of the story, their vision and all those things. Um, and then we dive deeper into the, the kind of the challenge that they want to solve with the project that they kind of bring to us. Can you, example, can you give some examples of challenges that they want to solve, for instance, for the product? Just so that we, we can get into the topic, like what kind of challenges, like uh, with, you know, some example projects or things like that. Yeah, it can be different. Like, so we both do like marketing websites and products as an example. So mm -hmm. for a marketing website, the, the challenge is often to get, uh, get people like there is a target audience and the, the company behind it wants people to actually to take action on, you know, what they're trying to sell or what they want people to kind of mm -hmm. uh, do. So then, it, I mean, it's very, it's a lot about just telling the story that kind of appeals to, to that group and to also kind of um, present it in a way that that uh, appeals to them, you know. Right, mm -hmm. right. So uh, what I like about this, what you said is um, some, something I've been wondering about like for, for, for quite some time, a lot of, uh, you know, pe people or studios that uh, produce website, they, th they think too much about call to actions, which mm. you're talking about like the story. Mm. People need to, un to, to understand the story and to buy into the story before call to taking the call to action. Is it, is it what you're telling? Yeah, yeah, ex ex exactly. And it's, it's also about the brand, you know, the brand behind the story. Mm -hmm. you, you know, that, you know, the, I think the world has kind of changed a lot, you know, from kind of this hard commercials to kind of building brands that people love and people make connection to and I think that's how kind of uh, the modern world works you know people have the internet they will check multiple choices and they will decide uh, from that you know what part they like so it's really important to get the kind of the strategy behind the, the project correct before you start the, the like the designs and those things so and how, how long does it take this phase of, of, you know, making the strategy or like building up the strategy or at least setting up mm. the, the initial phase? Yeah, that's the thing. It depends a lot on the project. Like it depends on a lot of things, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, but, you know, we always need to get that kind of understanding of the business, you know, uh, of the project. Uh, then we will take that information. We will do our own investigation we will you know maybe do some research mm -hmm. um do we might do some interviews with you know the the, the main audience and that's so a lot of work that yes and no it's maybe it sounds like a lot of work but i mean in some cases it is actually it can be but also you can achieve a lot with let's say you're building a marketing website and you can achieve a lot maybe with five user interviews you might already discover some common things that you hear throughout all these interviews that uh, is something that the business, like the, the, the other client might not be aware of, which kind of oh, that, becomes yeah. like a, it's going to guide the process going forward, you know. But does it have an often? Sorry, I like, I like what yeah, you say. Yeah, That's no. why I'm, uh, mm. I'm interrupting mm. here. But uh, does it have an often that you find something that the client didn't tell you about? Yeah, and yeah, actually, yeah. it's crucial to to kind of talking about their 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 whatever they want to market. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in in, in a lot of cases, cases it kind of confirms what they already told us. But mm -hmm. in some cases, we we actually spot things that actually contradict what they told us at the start, and then we get this like interesting, you know, kind of um, two uh, perspectives, uh, which we would then, of course, just talk about, and we would figure out like why is that, and and then maybe something is, you know. Uh, something we have to look a bit deeper into. Maybe something missing in between or yeah. something to converge or to, right. Mm. And then, uh, so who who is involved in this process from both sides? Um, that yeah. initial process, the yeah, strategy it process. 
Yeah, I would say, yeah, I mean, we have a UX designer as an example. So she, she's usually inv- involved in, in those discussions and our design team is usually involved. And uh, a, pro- a project manager, in some cases, that m- that's me actually, in some cases, someone, uh, else. someone else. So, so yeah. So the, the UX designer is involved since the strategy, since the beginning, yeah. with the research. And to be honest, like, and what, the, like, kind of the outcome of this process is we will do like a, uh, a proposal, you know, it's like propose the strategy. And I mean, usually it's, it's largely based on what the client told us, but we will also add our kind of value to it. And often that's like even development is part of that. Because we will propose the kind of the te- technologies that we use and oh, so you give yeah, like we, okay the proposal with the full story like okay yeah. this is what we think the story should be mm-hmm. this is how we should implement it and this is the technology that we'll be using and that's that that's why it's adapted for your thing Something yeah like that yeah exactly because the, the our type of process we are very like hands on we like to do you know actually like build the stuff you know we mm. it's this the whole point of the strategy is, is to kind of to f- figuring out what to design and, and build later mm-hmm. on so we and we like to kind of think throughout the pro through the process kind of from the start so yeah. and, and you said one of the strongest point the strongest point that you think you you have is uh delivering the results as well as not only doing the strategy but delivering that value that you think you can yeah do. yeah i think so i mean we are quite yeah like i say we are like very hands-on and um yeah and we actually try to you know, not spend, you know, we, we won't just take what the, the client told us and we will lock us in a room for one, one month and then we will like, or, or like a cave and come out of the cave and have this like big Ta-da. revelation, like, Whoa, <laughs> look at what we, it's like, it's a very open kind of conversation, you know. A conversation with the client. Yeah. And, and then like you got that proposal, mm. do you include designs in the proposal or do you include an idea of the, of the uh, global of what, that you're doing? What, uh, what no, do you I, I would not there? say, I would say it's very like high level. Sometimes there is like navigation maybe will suggest, maybe we'll suggest like a small piece of it. If, if maybe if in the, the, the client gave, gave like an indication of what they want, you know, in terms of design, then we might include some part of that. But mm. I would almost say that's kind of the next step, which is where we actually, where it comes down to more, you know, when we have a strategy, it comes more down to kind of uh, um, the craftsmanship of design almost like. Right, we, like, can you the, describe this a bit more? The, 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 how do you go for design after doing the strategy? Yeah, uh, so, um, so then we have the, the like the strategy. We know the strategy, right? Mm-hmm. So then it's more about like how do we tell a story, and then it's like color theory. You're like what colors are the right? I mean, in some cases it's already like a brand, so mm-hmm. it's so you try to inspire from that. Yeah, yeah. But in some cases we we are like we can pick that. It's about the tone of vo- tone of voice. It's like one thing. It's about the visuals. It's about like how, what's the best way we can actually communicate the story, and that's what drives the designs. Like that's mm. what the foundation that drives the designs, and yeah, that's kind of um, like imagine, and that's maybe I don't know like, if it happens for, with you, but mm. imagine like a brand that their choice of colors were a bit uh, let's say rusty or old because mm. now you know every time every some years like they're new kind of colors that come uh, surface and and would you like try to challenge that suggest like okay maybe you guys we can this blue we can make it this blue instead so that the design is more fresh it's more adapted to the to now do you change colors of the brand sometimes do you suggest these kind of changes yeah i mean like i say it's always discussion and like right, if, if it's an option or not but if we can feel there is some flexibility then and we will always propose what we think is the best for the pro- i mean we will always try to propose that and mm. then of course there are, sometimes we have to make compromises which is like um, how things are get made get done and then what do you produce after the designs like what is it? Sketch files or like what? What? What tools do you, do you use? Yeah. So I mean, at the start, it's usually like design explorations. So mm. that could be uh, around the brand. It could be around the like kind of the um, uh, the design system, like the interface part. And it could also be. It could even go further into social media and uh, like like a holistic view of the like company. Mm, uh, okay. But if it's only if it's uh, like a, an isolated kind of project, then it's it's probably going to be. Uh, more about 
uh, yeah, maybe showing a, an example screen or something like that. Something to because we want to mm-hmm. give people the kind of the feeling of how it's going to look, how it's going to feel, how it's yeah, how how the story is going to be told basically. Right, and mm-hmm. then you kind of. Uh, like present that to the client. You tell them this is yeah. what we're thinking about. Yeah, exactly. Do, do you have content writers in house? Do you uh, no, not in house. I would actually say our designers are quite good uh, copywriters. But okay, cool. yeah, but we, uh, yeah, we also have freelance copywriters that, that nice. can help us out. But that's p- also part of the of the experience, right? The tone you saw. Yeah, told. exactly. That's super important. Actually, the, con- the copy itself. Right. So maybe in the next videos we talk more about the, you know, the choice of tools and, you know, other aspects of the process. Yeah. Sounds good.